Hey everybody, the Bond guy's back. Welcome to part 31 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, it's time to take the fight to the Emperor on Lake Nonbur. Kaiba, I thought you had run off for good and here I find you attacking me. You shameless traitor. I'm gonna make sure the entire Emperor knows you for the traitor you are. Huh. This from the man that sentenced me to death on trumped-up charges. Go ahead. Either way, I'll achieve my goals when I put an end to your rule. I want you out of my way once and for all. Let's put an end to this, now. I may be old, but I can still silence an insolent squirt like you. Come on, let's see what you've got. And that we shall. Okay, we gotta defeat Haishin right away. Okay, he has the exact same team he had before when he was on Yuki's campaign. And his base is completely unprotected! So I'll send Kaiba there right now! But I mean he has no cannons. So I don't want to send Kaiba there to completely wipe out the base. I will, however, like, uh, try to take the territories around him. Oh wow, that Hunter Spider moved way too fast! Either way, Mokoba's team is very battle ready for this. Okay, that has laser cannon armor, and that has blue medicine. Alright, so I think we should focus on the basic insect. But I'm gonna let Robotic Knight attack the, um... The big insect. That way we can keep it from healing. Well, we're gonna use a standard attack, though, because the special doesn't confuse. Uh, it already used up its turn, so we might as well just go for Big Ansec right now. We should do enough damage to wipe it out on the next move. Unless Big Ansec just jumps to Q and attacks us. Oh my god, it did! You just had a turn not too long ago! Don't you understand how Qs work, you dick? You don't just cut the line because it's so convenient for you. You gotta wait your turn like everybody else in society. Damn insects have no respect for life whatsoever. Whatever. Let's just use a regular attack. That way it'll, pr it'll forget how to use those blue medicines. Until the confusion wears off. Okay, good, that attack did not miss. I was thinking it did. I think it's because Robotic Knight's body is in the way. It's kind of hard to tell what's happening. Okay, good, because it was confused, it only attacked us. Ooh, that was right in the crotch. I saw the traje trajectory of that. And it was not pleasant. Jeez, they got two crits in a row. Lucky bastards. Okay, it's easy to tell when Big Insect gets hit now, because you just gotta watch the legs. And Hunter Spider, well, there's your tell right there. His, his legs go up. Or arms. There's supposed to be legs, but he's already got legs. Are they still legs? I mean, yeah, Spire's got eight legs. I think it is legs. Even though they kind of function like arms at this point as well. There we go. I say Mokoba would be a very good defender. The defender for our base. I think I'll send Labyrinth Ruler to attack this particular base over here. And I'll send Pegasus to attack this base right over here. Oh, that's got a cannon. But it's an air cannon, so Magnet Warrior will not be affected by it. Did this have a cannon as well? No, it didn't. Alright, we're good. I 
don't have anyone with Enchanted Javelin, though, against this team. So it's going to be a bit of a knuckle-dragger. Okay, let me take a look at this team closely, see which one is a healer. I wouldn't be surprised if it's Zanky. Uh, for somebody that, like, takes a lot of taxes from the people, you think a Hyshin could have afforded a Call of the Grave or something. Because that would have been really beneficial at that point. Yeah, let's go for Pumpkin King of Ghosts, because I think it does have an ability. But since it doesn't heal, Robotic Knight can just use the special. Yep, that'll be good for us. Zanky didn't get hit, did it? Oh, it did get hit. Didn't look like it, though. But it did. So, it's just a matter of whittling this team out. Oh, Zangy decides to guard, too. Just delaying the inevitable, guys. You no-name guys. <laughs> I wonder, like, if you took on those uh, officers or soldiers in Fosbon Kingdom, what names would they be given if they were given generic names? It would have to be something completely weirded out. Like something you would see in Forbidden Memories, like all those kinds of names. Oh, that's what I was worried about. Oh, Burfa make its powered up too. So we do have a Darkland monster on our side. Thank you for that. Now I'll finish you. That goes to show how ungrateful I am to my enemies. Oh, that was too close. I think that's the last of the attackers that are going to be heading for our main base. So then we can start taking theirs. Zanky guards again? Okay. I'm trying to be like a defensive force as if it's going to be a factor in this fight. It's not. What's he going to do to us, really? He's just using up all his action points. And when he gets a chance to attack us, it's not going to make a world of difference. So in the end, it doesn't even matter like that Linkin Park song. That all of us have quoted at some point in our lives. Usually around like the early 2000s when they were just coming into the scene being very awesome. Let's face it, they, after Hybrid Theory, they weren't making that many great of albums. But that's subjective. I mean, it's not fact, it's opinion. Maybe some of you guys actually like Meteora. I actually like that we defeated that unit pretty easily. Not only two level ups, so that's disappointing. But not surprising. Oh, there is another unit coming to attack us. They're going that way. Okay, so these are pretty much the same units we fought before on Yugi's side. Like, just in different positions. So I'm sure there's going to be healers all around on this side. That'll be annoying to deal with. Oh, all three of them do! So, I think I want to focus on the Axe Raider. Because that has the potential to be the most annoying. Having that paralyzed will be a great boon. Okay, and... Oh, this is just regular Red-Eyes Black Dragon. I was thinking, get Metal Dragon ready, and I realized, no, that's the wrong one. Who do I have Black Metal Dragon on? Oh yeah, Rex Raptor. That's who. So just focus all our attacks on Axe Raider, and hopefully we can finish it before it heals. But then again, the other units can heal it as well. Like that. Then again, I do have Armored Zombie to paralyze the other two. Rogue Doll will probably attack next. Ooh, that was a good crit. I like that. The only one I can move now is Ensatsu. 
Unless paralysis wears off. Which has the potential to happen. Probably at the worst time. But it is not this day. There, completely make them our bitch. Yeah, we'll focus on Asetsu next. That one has the most potential to be annoying. Red Eyes Black Dragon no longer has action points, though. So it's basically two on two. Well, as soon as someone skull attacks, it's basically one on two. Even though Armored Zombie can really wreck shit up with the paralysis effect, it's still gonna be annoying that that's my only monster that can move. Worst case scenario, I would miss. But, no big deal regardless. Attack power is pretty good, and so is, well, everything else he can do. Wait, you got a black pen that works good on spellcasters, right? That's right, I should've been having Armored Zombie attack Rogue Doll the whole time. That would've been better. Okay, this is actually a really good team that I got on Labyrinth Ruler. I can't stress that enough. It's pretty good. Okay, I say that unit is gonna be heading this way instead. I should really see what they got for sale, though. I'll buy another one of those. Alright, do these particular bases have any defenses? That one doesn't. And neither does that one. Okay, so time to dispatch some units. You go to right arm. No, no, don't do that. And Rex Raptor can go to left arm. What is this unit attacking us anyway? Oh, it's the same unit, so I'm going to employ that strategy from here on out. Did I heal Labyrinth Ruler's unit? I don't know. Either way, the healer is on this side. I think it's Beaver Warrior. Will not be a problem because we can confuse it anyway. Oh, Silver Fang and Beaver Warrior. Focus on Beaver Warrior. As long as we confuse both of them, healing won't be an issue. So they have to attack us. It might leave us worse for wear, given that we don't have to, well, well, Mega Zaller can still guard, but it doesn't have any items. So at most, we'll have two attackers on our asses. And if it gets too tight, we can just use Polymerization or Heal. Not so close to taking one of them out. They're only focusing on Beta, though. I must really not like yellow. Come on, Gamma, this is all you. Thank you for not shitting the bed. <laughs> Can robots even shit beds? Maybe it was programmed in their macros to, like, develop feces and then just dump as soon as, like, their area is the bed. I think too much on robotics these days. <laughs> Oh, yeah, beta's down. They only focus on that monster? Well, maybe Alpha once, but still. They really pinpointed their target. Does Alpha have a monster reborn? Or we're gonna be shorthanded the whole... Nope, never mind. He's got one. Yeah, I did get some polymerizations when I was grinding in the previous mission. So I might want to dispatch them on my units. Do you really want to use Dian Keto? Nah, you'll be fine. You got 666, the number of Iron Maidens beast. I say that because it's not really the number of the beast. So I think Silver Fang can go down in two attacks.
Okay, well, that was weird. I just had a bit of an audio glitch there. So now that I got my turn, I'm going to take care of this. Give me a moment. All right, I'm back. Let's continue on here. And I was thinking I could just attack Silver Fang and be done with him right now. But then we'd be left with little action points to finish off Mega Zowler. So let's turn to Valkyrian right now. There, now we got a lot of action points to get the job done. First, let's put Silver Fang out of its misery. Going down the way of Old Yeller, if Old Yeller actually had like some robotic Gundam just bringing a sword down on its head. It'd probably be a little less dramatic for people rather than just seeing it get shot. It's like, oh, look, Old Yeller's gonna get put down. Oh, this big effing robot with a giant sword is ready to cleave on its head. That's awesome. They might get over like a dog's getting killed in movies if they were killed like that. You know what I mean? Just throwing like some big giant Gundam and that'll take care of itself. A lot less dramatic than just watching them get like euthanized and stuff. Or dying of illness. <laughs> A lot less dramatic. So with that we get the easy win. Gamma's at level 27 now, which is pretty good. Gotta try to get my units buffed up as much as possible. There, now we got that for ourselves. Okay, now did I heal Labyrinth Ruler? I should have. No, I didn't. Now I did. I don't want to send Kaiba too close to the base right now. So I would like to fortify those other units first. So, I think I'll just leave him right here. That seems like a very imposing spot, like right next to the shore. There. Alright, so I gotta remember, let, Dre let Armored Zombie take out the Rogue Doll. And I'll take a lot less hits. So, with that, there's our turn. Now, if Axe Raider or Rogue Dog gets next turn, well, actually it's going to be Axe Raider, then it's pretty much going to nullify my process. Oh, hang on a second, I'm having other glitches coming up. Okay, that was weird. That marks the very first time since I've been doing Capture Car Let's Plays that I've had two glitches on the same video. One where I had the desync and the one where I massively dropped frames. It was just from Axe Raider using Red Medicine for crying out loud. Wasn't anything too intensive. But apparently the game says, yeah, it was. Okay, it looks like I'm handling this battle a little bit worse than the previous one, because I was able to get one of them killed before. They got a lot of action points, so I can't just say, oh, I'm just whittle them down and it'll be okay. That's not how it's gonna work. Okay, two of them paralyzed should be good. It'll make life a little bit easier. Especially if I can get one of them killed right now. Thank you! Takes out the red medicine user. Still gotta work our way through the end of this battle, and it should not be a problem. Yeah, we'll just focus on Rogue Doll. See, after a crit, two or three attacks would be enough. Oh, it got out of paralysis immediately! That sucks! Well, at least that's one last turn attacking us. Yeah, continue focusing on Rogue Doll. That would be a good idea. There. I, I'm pretty sure Rogue Doll is going to get healed, but that's okay. Oh, wow. Miss altogether. Okay, it won't get healed. Because that last attack missed. But now Armored Zombie is all by itself. Please do over 1160 damage. 
Or not, okay. You can get close. Next attack will finish it off, though. Unless it misses. What? That still didn't do enough damage? Okay. Maybe this attack will finish him off. Great, so now we get we gotta have a second fight. Well, that really sucks. I, I did that fight worse. Well, let me use this time to heal myself. There, now we can just get like one glancing blow against it. Too bad the paralysis just can't carry over to the next fight. But then it wouldn't be able to get to us, because it can't move. That would have been a weird way to handle things. If it could work. Alright, what can we buy in this base? Let me take out that cannon, it's not needed. Eh, whatever. Those are not items I would buy, because I got enough of them as is. Yeah, I didn't really feel like giving any of my units the uh, Harpy Lady team because it was overpowered before on Yugi's campaign and it'd be even more overpowered now because the levels are much higher. So I didn't really feel like using it. I just like to uh, mix it up so I can have a little bit more fun. Just exactly what I'm doing. Okay, Labyrinth Ruler got some martial points. Good. Not a lot, though. Just attack and life. Nothing on action, though. That worries me. Either way, it shouldn't be too bad. Let me get Kaiba a little bit closer. So it looks like it's gonna be a wall before those units get there. In fact, I can probably let Kaiba take these fortresses myself. He'll still get there before the rest of the guys do. If anything, it'd be a good idea to just fortify them. Give me some more money. That'd be a good idea as well. Okay, who's in this base? Uh, this team should not be too bad for Kaiba to deal with. If anything, I'll just have moisture creature use a Brigeki and just wreck the rest of them. Alright, let's do this. Remember, I don't have the uh, enchanted javelin on moisture creature anymore, so I can't do extra damage to these dark monsters. I can just do a lot of regular damage! Like that. And have the Reaper of the Cards nullify all that progress altogether. Thanks a lot. Luckily, it's the only healer. So we can just focus on the other monsters and be none the wiser. Oh my god, are you serious? That is just painful to watch. That wasn't. Dragon Zombie is technically not a dragon, I believe. Is it? No, it's a dark monster. Good. I don't think this would be enough to take out the Dragon Seeker, though. Would be nice if it could, but no. This will, though. There, that's much better. Now, we can just take care of the rest. With little effort at all. Well, that was kind of a waste. Shouldn't you have just, like, attacked and then guarded? Just to drag the fight out? Why would you do it like that? Now you got yourself wide open. All 
Alright, so. That castle's now taken. So let's see what we can buy here before we set anything up. What I should set up is a supply route so I can get that Regeki back. I can use it again. That would be a great idea. Rather than just have like a one time use. Trade Union? Eh, I already got a Cocoon of Evolution. I probably won't need it right now. Replenish my Regeki. Thank you very much. Cost 2,000 to do so, though. Oh, Bones made it. Good. Hopefully he won't have too much trouble. Nah, he shouldn't. He's got two potential to paralyze and one to do some heavy damage. None of these are spellcasters, so I can't get some extra damage. But what can you do? None of them are healers either. There. So let's just whittle them down a lot. That could hurt. And eh, lower on th like 33% of Phantom Daewon's health. So yeah, it can be a bit menacing. Hit by that several times. Ooh, that was a good crit. Come on, let's try to take out that Zanki. Or get close. Oh, I'll paralyze the uh, giant war mech as well, or giant mech soldier, yeah. It's a giant mech soldier. I keep messing up that name though. It's not one of those memorable ones to me. Okay, just one more attack should be enough. Done. Okay, two more monsters left to go. We should have this in the bag. It's gonna get real bad once the paralysis wears off, once our action points are down, and we have to eat all those attacks anyway. That's why we need to kill them now. I see no need for us to heal because we're gonna be, be doing okay. At least those attacks were spread out. As opposed to all being on Phantom Day One. Because that would have sucked. Okay, good. That's two dead. So, Millennium Golem is just going to be at our mercy. It's not going to be able to do anything to stop us. Okay, I have returned once again, and there was like three times I had to stop the recording just to get everything fixed up. I don't know if it's going to stay that way for the rest of the video, or do I have to fix it up again? Let's hope that this is the last time. Luckily, I'm very close to uh, approaching the Emperor's base. So after that, we should be just fine. I think this is going to be the last video I do in this whole recording session I got set up. This is actually the second video I've done of this game in a row. And I like to get several parts in a row done in the event there are some days I can't record at all. I mean, given that I that I work all day on the weekdays, so that cuts away some of my recording time that I used to have. And now Castle Right Arm has been liberated. What can we buy here? Uh, buy a Swords of Revealing Light, I suppose. Did I heal up Kaiba's unit? No. I should really do that first. Alright, I'm not going to let Rex attack. So Kaiba is going to take him on. It'll be more fitting that way. Ooh, Mystical Alpha has level 3 magic now, and status guard. And Fanaticism, that powers up the party. And Axe Raider has red medicines. So I better plan out my moves carefully if I'm going to defeat them. Uh, Mystical Elf is a spellcaster, is it? Yes. So, Dragon Zombie can do extra damage against it. Gah! You're nothing but a pack of traitorous thugs. How dare you defy me! 
Today I'm judge, jury, and executioner. More like you're gonna be the executioned. It, that doesn't sound right. Either way, what will sound right is if we defeat him. X-ray decided to wait. That's weird. So, let's forget it up. Okay, we whittle that team down extremely fast. Worst case scenario, Axe Raider gets to move again. Luckily, that was only Zanki. Uh, Dragon Zombie should just focus on Mystical Elf to take it out right away. Don't miss! Thank you! And that eliminates the potential of fanaticism, making that team a bit stronger. Okay, Black Luster Soldier, you know your target. There we go, Axe Raider is dead. Moisture Creature, you can go after Zanki. And now he's probably gonna be dead. Wow, that was a total pushover of a fight, if there ever was one. Well, Black Luster Soldier got an action point, and Moisture Creature still needs to rely on Deal of Phantom to actually move more than once. Whoa! Retreat! Retreat! Hi, Sheen! Get him! Don't let him escape! Curse you, Kaiba! My army! My empire! You needn't worry about that, your majesty! Who's there? Who? What are you? It doesn't matter, your majesty. The important thing is that I am the one who will deliver you from your enemies. Another insolent... Ah, uh, never mind. So you say you can save my empire, do you? Yes, I can. I will defeat the Resistance army that is pursuing you. Good. Now I can rest knowing that I'll be safe. Hmm. I wouldn't be too sure of that. What? The Empire and the army no longer belong to you, Your Majesty. What? Just what does that mean? Explain yourself. Draw! Ugh. My body. My body! You are nothing more than my program puppet. You served me well. But you outlived your usefulness. Good work, your majesty. I always erase my unwanted programs so they don't come back and cause me trouble later. Bye-bye now. Draw! Seto! We're being attacked from behind! What? No! What a mistake! We were too focused on the offensive and left our rear undefended. Ha 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 ha! Sorry to surprise you all. I've taken the liberty of destroying your rear guard. How utterly simplistic of you to leave your backside so completely unprotected like that. You! You used to work in research at Kaiba Corp. Scott! Scott Irvine! I'm pleased you remember, Kaiba. I did enjoy working for you then. How's your dual disc selling? Quite the technological marvel if you ask me. But then again, I made it. Huh. I lost track of you after Battle City. What are you plotting? I could try to explain, but being the heartless, ruthless businessman you are, you'd never understand. Besides, all this talk is wasted energy. Don't you think it's about time you started planning your escape? What the heck are you talking about? While you're wasting time with your silly questions, my forces are cutting off your possible escape routes. You're so simple-minded, Kaiba. For a self-proclaimed master duelist, you've done nothing but disappoint me so far. Kaiba, boy! We should escape now while we still can! Ah, You may have won this round, Scott, but watch out! And we get 668 gold for that. Aid from afar! The sudden appearance of Scott and his vicious attack took a heavy toll on Kaiba and his forces. Fighting as they fled, they tried to escape to the east. Now they're surrounded in Mariah Den with no way out. Okay, so we can only take four marshals with us. Mokuba and Pegasus are mandatory. I think I should probably take Labyrinth Ruler instead of Bones. I didn't get any new monsters, so I don't have to shuffle my team around. Alright, so we're going to stop the video right here. In the next episode, we're going back to Mariah Den, where Kaiba's campaign actually first started. 
Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.